That's on. We got music. Got the warm up. Got Tabata. Might as well go come on eventually. Up and over. I took my glasses off two seconds too soon. All right, let's go. I'm going to keep my sweatshirt on just for a few minutes. <clears throat> and across. And that's too much. Okay, do that windmill pinky finger, pinky toe. Ooh. And we're gonna sink it side to side. So we do have eight blocks on the board, I think. Yeah, we do. Two exercises in each block except the first and the last. You may need your knee pad. All depends. We got some bird dogs in there. My floor is very unforgiving. Let's do squats. <clears throat> so we have bands. We got the next two blocks. And then we're on the floor for Blocks four and five, <clears throat> and then we're up. Let's do that walk out. So we have all the lunges in there today. We got squats, we got front lunges. Uh, I don't know why I just did a push up. We have push ups in the workout. We got all the lunges, we got the squats, we got presses, we got curls, we got kickbacks, we got deadlifts. Jack press, regular jacks. Let's find that plank and walk it up. Start that jog. Okay. Sweatshirt's too heavy to jog in. <clears throat> so I think the October challenge, jack it up is going to be banded goblet squats. <laughs> Said no one ever. <clears throat> I got that Heisman's. In three, two, let's go. But here's the deal. I want you to start challenging yourself with those goblet squats. Even if you get your two heavier ones, like I just had my 215s, Whew. for the first couple, and see how long you can last doing really good reps, heavy butt kickers. Put them down, pick up something lighter, or nothing at all, and continue with the goblets for those 60 seconds. We only have a couple more days together here in Connecticut. Woo, get ready for those steamrollers. Nice and wide. We are on track to leave on Friday night. Hope the weather in the rest of the country feels the same way. A lot of storms brewing out there this year. Two and <clears throat> Pike signs. Bye, babes. Let me know if you're going to invite your brother over for dinner or if he is coming. What? Okay, great, thanks. Mummies. I like to be prepared. Because when you invite people for dinner, you're on a schedule. I don't like being on a schedule. <laughs> we 
We got three, two, and shake it on out. Put the bands on. Woo. All right, so band walk. We're gonna get ready. We got four 20 second intervals of goblet squats. And then we're gonna very safely come on our backs with the bands on. Pick them up, pick them up. See how heavy you can get. Goblets, I gotta hold them this way though. Let's go. As you go down, wiggle those toes, press up, brace your core. Don't let those knees cave in, press it out too, and breathe. Three, two, let's go. to struggle doesn't mean you're done. Three, two, breathe. I think that was number three, right? Yeah, number three. One more. Three, two, woo. Come on, let's go. that lower spine on the floor. You're just coming out and in just enough to have tension on the band. Woo. Three, two, feet go down. We got bicycles. I don't care so much about the upper body. <coughs> I just want those knees. So even if you're up in that static crunch, knees Push. Three, two, breathe. Feet down. Going back to those scissors. Whew. Feet up. Flex those feet. Drop them to where you need to. Let's go. So you're just in and out. How wide can you make the V? I have my head on the floor. I'm not holding static position. Don't bring those legs too close together though. Two. Oh, Lord have mercy. One last bicycle. In three, two. Now hold your static crunch. Maybe we should do this block every day. <coughs> we'll switch it up. We'll switch it up a little bit. Two. And breathe. Band goes off. Come to your feet. Whew. All right, we got front lunge with a hammer curl. So front lunge. Hammer, keep those elbows in. And then we have swings. We got four. Back of your mat, three. Oh, I hate when it's crooked. Two, let's go. So 
So sometimes I feel myself stepping too far forward in that front lunge and I have a hard time getting back up. Two, breathe. I'm gonna keep these dumbbells, I'm gonna swing with them. <coughs> How's that heart rate, good? <sighs> Set, feet, let's go. <sighs> keep that back flat. <sighs> oh God, I just felt those hamstrings. Come right. Getting ready for those deadlifts. Two, catch them safely. Back to that front hammer. Let's go. So, I know, knees are an issue. You can always switch them to reverse. Two, breathe. All right, back to the swing. Two, let's go. So this morning, early this morning when I got up to pee, it was like five. I'm like, oh, it's Saturday, I can sleep. And then my brain starts churning. And I'm like, no, I don't think it's Saturday. <laughs> Two, breathe. I was just really hoping it was Saturday so I could sleep. Not that I sleep. Anyway, whew, shoulders, let's go. Oh, I forgot the hammer. you don't have those dumbbells. We have the momentum from the dumbbells. You're making your own two. Oh, catch. Catch, put them down. All right. We're going to stick on one side, lateral lunge, upright row, and then we have a jack press. I'm gonna see if I can stick with my tens. Three, two, let's go. Pick a side, any side, let's go. I always start with the dumbbell in my right hand. Nice and smooth on that upright row. Feel it. And I want you just jerking it up. Two, breathe. All right, I'm gonna keep this one for jack press for the first or so rounds. Two, let's go. Brace the core, step, or jack. Two, breathe. 
other side. Two shoulders. Keep those feet parallel. Let's go. So we started the process in the house yesterday. Two. Breathe. Made a list. I said, all right, Bill. We're together all day together. <laughs> Let's go. I thought I really need him for anything. Then no heavy lifting. Two. Woo. Good Lord. <clears throat> together. Shoulders. Let's go. Again, just found myself stepping too wide. <clears throat> Two, breathe. Three, two, let's go. Come on, keep your core tight. Nice presses, two. Last lunge. Three. Shoulders, let's go. Oh God. Two, three. All right, last jack press. MVD, you're so good. You're like, God, I'm ready. <laughs> Let's go. There you go, Robin. Nice, Nat. Come on, come on, seven. Two. Breathe. All right. We're on the floor for the next two blocks. Not saying they're gonna be easy. First one, we got push up to T rotation. And then we're gonna get a dumbbell. We're gonna be in bird dog. We're gonna lift up and we're gonna stay in that bird dog position and do that kickback. So get that kneel pad. We got five, three, push up rotation. Let's go. So either on the toes or on the knees, Let those feet go with you every time. So don't be in a side plank with your toes faster to the floor and breathe. All right, I got my nail pad because my knees suck. I got my seven. So bird dog. Nope, bird dog. So dumbbell is in my right hand. My left knee is down. My right knee is down, my left hand is down. So imagine you are in bird dog, right hand, left leg. So once you get into that position, keep that elbow up, brace your core, and kick back. And breathe. All right, I always get confused on the first, first one. All right, dumbbell aside, back to that push-up. On the toes or on the knees, whatever makes you a little heart happy, let's go. Every day, I'm shuffling. By all means, don't go fast. Two, breathe. All right, now, get your shit together, core. Right leg, dumbbells in your left hand. Bring it up, kick it back. 
All right, so if you're advanced or you want to try it, you can be in high plank with a kickback. Two, breathe. I find it challenging enough to be in bird dog. I mean, I guess if I really had to, I could, but let's go. Push up T. I already pushed myself in the first couple of blocks. Stays high. Trying to keep everything super, super still. Three, two, Christmas tree. All right, one more push up. Three, two, let's go. And again, you can be a modified on those knees. Do a modified side plank. I'm good with that. Three, two. Last one was a fail. All right, get in that bird dog position. Left hand, right leg out. Balance, pull it, let's go. You gotta really brace your core. Put that dumbbell as high as you can. Don't be swinging. Two, and breathe. Okay, next up, we got plank jacks. I know, I know we were just on our hands, so if your hands are hurting, go on your forearms, it's still a plank jack. We're gonna flip it over for V-ups. You got 12 seconds. Ooh, desperate need of the Kleenex. I don't know why I don't keep them closer to me. Three. Set it up however you want to do it. Let's go. Flat back. So you're jacking or you're tap out and tap in. You want to make it a little more challenge? Tap out, out, in, in. So there's all different ways. Two. Breathe. Flip it on over. We got V up. You can come all the way up or come into that crunch. Extend, let's go. I want that lower back to stay on the floor though. I'm not coming all the way up. I'm reaching as high as I can. With my lower back on the floor. Two. Breathe. There's no rest on this foot. There's a lot of movement in between. Two. Oh, let's go, come on. And your feet don't have to go super wide in a jack. Brace your core. Your core should be fired up by now. Three, two, breathe. Oh. Should we break and go to burpees? Full extension, let's go. ACDC zone, just so you YouTubers know. through the block. Let's go. Come on.
funny thing is, I thought I really liked flight jacks. I don't know. I'm kind of changing my mind. V ups, full extension. Let's go. Oh, one of my all time favorites. Two. Oh my God, one more round. Well, I guess I didn't want to play Europe. Come on, last time doing the jacks, let's go. Come on. Come on, come on. Hands underneath those shoulders. Brace that core, it is on fire. Two. Drop to those knees. One more V up. Oh my God. Two. Let's go. Don't hold your breath. Exhale up. Nice and smooth. Come on, core. Come on, guys. Three. Two. Okay, nope. That last one was a fail. It's got 30 seconds. Okay, 25 seconds. What do we got? Oh, great. We've got push press and deadlifts. Why is this so hard? Push press. I'm going to start heavy. It probably won't last because my arms are already shaking. Let's go. Push, press. Three, two. We got deadlifts. Three, two, fix yourself. Let's go slow, smooth. Hinge. Now tick, tip the tailbone under. I mean out. I'm not quite sure. Stick it out. I don't know. Up and out. Sure, we'll go with that. Up and out. Breathe. Back to those push presses. Three. Two, oh, let's go. Okay, if you're not dying a little, you're definitely not using the right size dumbbell. Okay, again, this is where 12s, 12s would come in handy. I don't really want to go to my 10s because I can push them. I mean, I can press them without the push. Deadlift. Shoulders, let's go. <sighs> Fix your feet, core. Fix your shoulders, let's go. I don't care how breathless you are. I want you to slow it down. Slow the movement, slow the breathing. Two, breathe. All right, halfway down with the block. Three, two, Let's go. Grip stays neutral. Set and explode. It's like you're getting that slingshot ready, right? You load up the tension, boom. You let it fly. Breathe. Okay. This is a hard. Heart to bottom. Let's go, deadlift. Everything's been hard this week. There you go. Squeeze those shoulder blades back there, too. Nice. Breathe. All right, last push press. Oh, I forget. I, I missed the whole block. But that's right. 
You don't need to know. You don't know what the order is. Three, two, breathe. All right, one more deadlift. One more deadlift. Three. Fix your shoulders, fix your feet. Let's go. Three, two, you're right. You're right, I skipped one. All right. You're going to need the heavy one but not right at the moment. Okay, now I already opened the window. We got, we got uh, curtsy, cross body, curl. So one leg's moving, one arm. You can have the other dumbbell. Actually, I'm gonna see what that feels like. But I'm gonna have my right leg on that cross body. Let's go. So you don't have to have that other dumbbell in your hand. It definitely makes you want to fall over. Two. Breathe. We got snatch. All right, so you're just using your right hand. So you might as well just stay with your right hand. Two. Let's go. Cross body curl. Let's go. Maybe not. So, this one's challenging because that snatch was a little bit high intensity. And this one takes balance, focus, breathe. Left snatch. Two, let's go. Three, two, that's right. All right, I'm not gonna hold the dumbbell on the other hand. See if that prevents me from falling. Right side, let's go. A little bit better, because you can use that arm. So that cross body curl, really keep that elbow tight as you bring the palm of your hand almost to your shoulder. Two, breathe. All right, back to the snatch. I'm gonna drop down to my 10. Three, two, let's go. And yep. big difference at five pounds. Three, two, three. All right, last curtsy with that cross body curl. We're almost done. Left leg, left arm, let's go. Clock. 
four different exercises, go through them twice, it's gonna fly. This whole workout has flown. Two, breathe, put it down, shake it out, water. Get ready for those rows, heavy pants, shoulder pulls and jacks. Oh my God. All right, we got rows first. Last block, can you? Three, two, set, hinge, smooth, up and down, smooth. You don't have to be completely parallel to the floor with that chest. Woo. Two, breathe. All right, heavy pants. Woo. I'm gonna switch to my tens. We got that little kickstand. My right foot is forward. We're reaching down, we're pulling, let's go. Pull them up, pull them up. Lower body is kind of staying really still, so you have a lot of tension in that front leg. Two, breathe. We got shoulder pulls. I'm gonna grab my sevens and probably regret it. So with or without the feet, two, let's go. Oh yeah, nope. Sorry, I thought I could do it. At least I tried. So if you don't have your feet going, you're just bracing your core. Two, breathe. We got regular jacks. If you want to do a jack of choice, you go right ahead. I just thought this would be a nice recovery. Two, let's go. Right, brace your core. Be light on the feet. Right, be kind of like relaxing those back muscles. Two, breathe. We got one more round of those four exercises. Tuesday's done. Can ya? Two. Woo. Let's go. Row it up. Come on, come on, come on. Two. Breathe. Yep. Okay. Heavy pants. Left foot forward. Let's go, reach and pull. Set them down, yank up those pants, right? Someone's coming through the door. You've all been there. That story's for another day, or never. Come on, and breathe, shoulder pulls. Oh my God, three, two, Let's go. I have a little kickstand happening. I am slightly bent at the hip, so I'm not standing straight, straight. Two. Whew. All right. 20 seconds. Last 20, best 20. You can take this jack wherever you need it to be. If you want to catch your breath, or you're like, damn, last 14 seconds, come on, come on. Three, two. Okay, take a second. Do a needful. Up. We're gonna pull. Okay. That was good. See, I got good sleep last night. Makes a difference. And 
the other side, get that elbow. Ooh, this tricep is tight. Do a little quad stretch. All right, you might find yourself this week doing a little bit more quad stretch during the course of the day. Like you're waiting for the microwave, do a quad stretch. Commercial comes on. Ooh. Stretch it out just a little bit more. We will be using those bands a whole lot more. Come on down, spread out those knees. Toes are wide, a little rock back and forth. Those hip flexors, a lot of work. Toes forward, fingers to the floor, tuck that chin, roll it up. Nice big inhale, scrape the knuckles. And of course, that rotational shift. Nice job. That was a good one. 